country still have not developed the situation where we turn a blind eye to drugs or if somebody comes to our notice we will ignore it or look away. The full implications of legalization were spelled out by Lord Mancroft of the All Party Group on the Misuse of Drugs who said it would stop users having to steal to pay for them. The black market in drugs is fueled by money, so the first step must be to remove the profit. By supplying drugs to those who really want them through government-controlled outlets, a sort of cross between an off-license and a chemist, at a realistic price, the need to purchase from the black market is eliminated. Drugs advice groups are pleased that new thinking is being applied to the problem. I think it's, it's very good that the police are raising the standards of the, de of the debate and are saying that we have got to be talking about the potential legalisation and decriminalisation of drugs. It's a, it's a debate that we've got to be having and now that we've got senior public servants from the police saying it, I think the politicians are going to have to listen. The conference is unanimous that there should be no let up in the fight against the criminals who traffic in drugs. But the fact that such ideas on drug users are being discussed publicly is a sign of how far the debate has shifted within the police. Neil Bennett, BBC News, Wakefield. The